In this virtual chemistry experiment, you will be look using an interactive simulation to look at spectroscopy and Beer's Law. You'll be using the Beer's Law simulation. In the simulation, you can choose differing types of compounds to look at the absorbance and transmittance. You can also vary the concentration of these compounds and notice the intensity of the solution in the container. You can also vary the size of the container and measure the distance that the light has to travel through. The light source is turned on by the red button on the left. You can then see the percent transmittance, that is the percentage of light that is transmitted through to the other side of the solution. All of the other light was blocked or absorbed by the solution. You can have the display output in either transmittance or absorbance. Transmittance is preferred as it is much easier to measure transmittance and convert to absorbance than it is to measure absorbance directly. You can also select the variable option and change the wavelength of light that is used to shine onto the sample. After you have varied the concentration, path length, and wavelength to see how these affect the transmittance and absorbance reading of the drink mix, you can select a compound of your choosing. You will then vary through the entire visible region spectrum at 20 degree intervals and record the percent transmittance. Please make sure that whichever concentration you choose, the percent transmittance value is above 10% for every wavelength. Once you have recorded all of the data for your absorbance spectrum, you will be plotting this as a function of absorbance on the y-axis versus the wavelength on the x-axis. You will then use this absorbance spectra to determine what is the most appropriate wavelength to choose for a calibration curve. This would be the wavelength that has the highest absorbance. With a wavelength determined, you will then prepare a calibration plot. To do this, you will vary the concentration only and record your percent transmittance. Select five different concentrations spread out across the differing range. Please make sure that in each of your concentrations, the percent transmittance value is below 10%. By the end of the experiment, you should have a good sense about Beer's Law, as well as the differing variables that can affect transmittance and absorbance, and how light will be blocked by differing compounds.